she is definitely a character to be remembered. So she's still a legend to this day. Um, and uh, there is no comparison, to be honest. She's a very educated person, and I think more so what draws me to her is the fact that she is non-discriminative and about, you know, who she associates with, um, you know, whether you're young, you're older, you're gay, you're straight. You now, she's, she's just that humble to be able to see the good in people and disregarding of race and gender. Um, and uh, be able to relate, be able to relate with an individual. And also, I see her as, like, a, I would say, I see her as, like, a grandmother, a wise grandmother who is able to educate and share her experiences and pass on this knowledge, you know, even though she has no children. You know, I feel like, you know, every person that she touches is like her child. My name is Venus Lux. I am from San Francisco, born and raised. And my occupation is I am an adult performer, producer, director, and I own my own production company. Penina Hartley has been a role model of mine within the adult industry, someone who is compassionate about what they do uh, on screen and off screen. And um, she's definitely been a huge advocate for performer rights in the industry, being one of the pioneers. She is a, definitely an individual who is unique um, mentally, physically, and lifestyle-wise. So that's why I kind of idolize her. i drawn to her because of her, her persona, her charisma, and her sense of uh, – she's very unique in a sense of a performer who does not just act, but actually blends with the character, um, a true actress. She's very humble and very friendly, surprisingly. I always seem someone as big as she is, as legendary as she is, would kind of fit into this typical stereotype of, you know, kind of a person who we call in America jaded. Um, but she is not, um, which gives her much more depth um, to make me want to even learn even more about her. For me, I could definitely, for, uh, for status-wise and ranking of where I would put Nina, I would definitely put her in the top five, no doubt, because of the fact that she is a porn star, still a pioneer. Um, so she obviously she has never taken quit porn, uh, which is amazing. You know, very seldom you encounter a woman who's be, who's able to kind of channel you know, uh, their persona into a character and be able to retain a sense of individuality outside of outside of filming. And uh, she's, yeah, it, it's very, she's a very unique character, as I said before. Uh, she has, she's able to, you know, uh, yeah, I'm speechless, actually. I <laughs> don't even know how to describe her. So, um, uh, that's my 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 uh, way of expressing how she is ranked within the industry. I've always been more like a fan girl to her. Um, you know, I've been more. I'm. I'm we're we sharing some laughter, you know, through our conversations talking about you know our sexualities and our lifestyles, and you know, because I was very inquisitive about her, you know, being having a kind of a polyamorous relationship um, or just an open relationship with her or in her personal life um, and her choice to not have children and she, and the fact that she's still in porn, still to this day. I think she's very poised. Uh, I, ha I don't have anything negative. I don't have any negative things to say about Nina. Um, I, although I know for a fact that she's a very opinionated person, <laughs> for sure, and, uh, you know, people can either take it, you know, good or take it bad, but she's definitely opinionated. But she's very poised in how she expresses her opinions, her commentaries, and her suggestions. Um, she does – she's a very bold person who will stand by what she's um, talking about. And what that's one of the awesome char characteristics about her. 
that she is a very strong woman who stands by her beliefs um, and does not conform. Because Nina is such a, you know, a strong figure and a opinionated person, I believe, you know, not everyone will, you know, see her side and agree with her. And I think that would be mostly people who are, you know, running you know, companies, you know, maybe she has an opinion about how companies are treating women, you know, how they are demeaning women in a manner where that's, where it's not socially acceptable or, um, or just, uh, an industry, you know, acceptable. Maybe, you know, I can see, you know, her having, you know, some conflictions with, say, directors or producers, um, and how they, you know, depict women in films and how they, you know, uh, stereotype or uh, demoralize women in films. I think if it encounters something of that sense, I will believe Nina will be able, will be not combative, but opinionated about something because she's definitely a very, she's an advocate of woman empowerment and uh, feminism. See her be continuing doing what she loves, which is porn. <laughs> I know for a fact that she loves porn. You know, she never, it's part of her lifestyle. She, you know, the, you know, sex is definitely a lifestyle and um, it's not just a hobby. And that's one thing I love about her.